This is RGB LED. And this is ARGB LED. What is the difference between them? With RGB LED it has four pins red, green, blue, and ground. With ARGB LED it has four pins 2, VSS, VCC, DI, and DO. To control RGB LED you need to add some resistors and use three PWM pins to control the color and the brightness. To control ARGB LED I just need to add 3 pins, including 1 pin to control via communication with the IC inside the LED. The special thing is when you control a LED strip you just need 1 pin to control. This technology allows us to make many many effects with LED. So I will show you how to control them. Let's get started. Hello everyone. Welcome to Turtle Fight. I'm Turtle and Automation Engineer. This is a YouTube channel where I record products and share about electronics and programming. If you find it interesting, please like and subscribe to the channel to give me more motivation to continue. Thank you. First, I bought WS2812B LED strip for $5. It has many LEDs inside and every LED is connected in series. To control them, you need a microcontroller. Here I have Arduino Nano and ESP, but I will choose ESP because I used Arduino many times before. The last thing you need is some wires. I wired it up to power 5 volts of the LED array and used IO2 pin to control them. Regarding software, we need Arduino IDE, ESP library, and two other libraries to control the LED. I will put all software's links in the video description. On Google search I tape fast LED library, click, download, and install it. It supports control ARGB LED in Arduino IDE. You need to include the library in your sketch, and define LED pin and quantity of LED. In loop, I write a code to blink a white LED for 2 seconds. This line will regulate the brightness level of the red, green, and blue LED values from 0 to 255. OK uploads the code. To show the exact color you want, visit this page, and choose the color you want, the RGB value will be displayed. Now copy it into your code and upload. Control multiple LED, I redefine LED quantity and make a for loop to send data to all LED. With this library, I programmed the LED array in a video before, you can watch it on my channel if you want.
Recently, I found a much better library, it's called WS2812FX, please download it and install it in Arduino IDE. In its examples, open the file called Auto Mode Cycle to configure the control pins and download the code. Now I'm going to show you the full effects of this library and note the speed I'm setting is 3x. As far as I count, it has 71 effects in all. That is great. That's all I want to convey in this video, hope it helps. If you have any questions please comment below, I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next project.